Good morning, everyone. We are coming to you live from Idaho, basically all over the, the country today. We have um, Stu Draper is in, in Oklahoma. Morning. Uh, good morning, Stu. We're excited to kick off another digital summit. We, we held a summer uh, digital summit a couple months ago, and it was a great success. We had a ton of participation, which is why we're doing one for the fall right now. And so before we begin and jump in, I just want to kind of go through a couple housekeeping items, uh, go through the agenda so you know what to expect today. And uh, but before we get started, if you look on the right hand side, uh, the right hand side of your go to webinar panel, there's going to be a questions box. Let's see where everyone's from. Where are we from today? Can you chat in and uh, tell us uh, where you are are watching this from? And um, we'll just kind of look at them and see. This is kind of a fun thing to do to to see how how uh, broad of an audience we have. So we have India, Milwaukee, Kansas, UW, Illinois, Texas, Atlanta, Logan. Utah, Canada, Norwich, UK, Michigan, Nova Scotia. Okay. We are <laughs> Idaho Falls. Okay. Right next door to us. Finland, Tanzania. Guys, this is awesome. So um, the power of technology, right? We can be together all at once, yet uh, thousands of miles apart. So um, thanks for doing that. We're going to jump in if you can look at my screen right here i've got the speaker agenda pulled up um our first speaker is going to be stuart draper today and he's going to talk about ideas uh for you uh for marketing educators and um some cool things that you can implement in your in your class and it's kind of going to be the kickoff to our theme today of how we can enhance the our our, our curriculum and the lives of our students after Stu. We'll, listen, we'll get to listen to Scott Cowley. Um, he was a favorite last conference, brought him on again uh, the, the second go around because you all loved him so much. He's gonna talk about search engine optimization. That's a scary word, but he's gonna make it not scary for us to teach. And so he's gonna talk about some of the cool projects that he's doing um, with uh, SEO. Uh, we're gonna then uh, jump over to Karen Freeberg and she's gonna talk about um how she how she handles and manages real client work in the classroom and she has a pretty cool one that she uh, is in the middle of right now and so we're excited to hear that from her uh, then we're going to uh, jump over to matt maroon and he's going to talk about experiential learning and uh, how uh, he brings the industry into the classroom and then we'll finish off with rich richard Hanna, and he's going to talk all about certifications which ones uh, you should definitely look into, which ones to avoid, and everything in between. So um, <clears throat> before we jump into Stu, uh, some housekeeping items real quick. Like I mentioned, there's a questions panel on the right. Uh, during each presentation, feel free to ask any question you'd like. If we can answer it during the, the presentation, we will. We have a couple moderators on here. And um, um, they'll be answering questions on the fly, but ones per that are particularly for the speaker. At the end of their session, we will have about 15 minutes where we'll do Q&A. So we'll get to answer those and hear from the speakers. Uh, the, conference, the conference hashtag right here. We loved the, the engagement and the, the chatter from the last conference. So the hashtag is StuKent. DS18. DS stands for Digital Summit, of course. So on the Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever the hashtag is Stukent DS, we'll be compiling uh, a lot of the, 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 the good tweets and um, posts, and we'll be resharing those. Uh, we'll have a lot of, we have multiple giveaways today. Steve's going to talk about an awesome one. I'm going to uh, just share one real quick. So we have uh last last um conference we talked about our 
uh, Stu Kent Digital Marketing Certi Certified Associate course. It's our DMCA. It's a self-learner course. Um, it has lots of lots of content. Okay, this is 53 hours worth of instructor-led content, 40 hours plus of of uh, video content. You can take this whenever you want and dive into it as much as you'd like. This is a, a course that uh, we sell for $497 to professors, to the professional uh, folks who come to us looking for digital marketing training. We're going to give a license away for free at the end of the conference today. All right. And how you win this is through the social. So as you listen to the speakers, we're going to we're going to select a winner at the end of the conference from uh, basically who's the most engaged or who's tweeting the most, uh, who's talking the most on socials. And so um, as you hear cool things, feel free to share those and we'll go throughout the end and we will pick one winner. And uh, that winner will get uh, free access to this amazing um, digital marketing certified associate course. So um, I think Stu, that yep. is, I think that's all I have. So, uh, Trevor Erickson, I don't think I, I mentioned that you've re probably received a million emails from me by now. So you, you probably have my name memorized, but here's my face. Um, I'm going to give the, the presenter controls over to Stuart. Okay, let's see. I got to get this dang camera out of my way, guys. So before Stu begins, Stu, you can kind of figure that out. Look, for those of you who are new here, um, we're going to launch a poll. And we do this at the first of every uh, webinar we do. It's just kind of fun. Can you guys queue up the poll? We're curious to know how many of you are first timers or have not used any StuCamp courseware at all. So can um, can we queue that up? We'll see a poll come across. If you um, can answer that, it's in progress. Once we get about 75 to 80% of you uh, filled that out, we will show those results. They'll be kind of fun. Okay. Oh, the results showed showed been there. there they are right there. Okay. So this is what we typically see: uh, a, a larger percentage of folks who are attending our webinars are currently not using Student Courseware, which is fine and great for us. We um, we pride ourselves on being content providers, and so if we can help you out in any way, whether you're using our courseware or not. It's a it's a win for us, and um, we hope that you get a ton of value today from the speakers that uh, we have lined up for you. So, uh, Stu, are you almost ready over there? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Can you see uh, the screen? Well, you will want to close the poll, I believe. Yeah, let's close that poll down, and we've got Stu's screen. So, Stu, all how right. About do, how about we do just a quick little. Uh, uh, introduce you real quick for those who, who don't know you. So Stu is the founder and CEO of Stu Kent, and in 2008, he founded a company called GetFoundFirst.com. It was a digital marketing ad agency, and it grew into a successful business. His industry experience led him to become an adjunct professor at Brigham Young University, Idaho. And as finding up-to-date materials proved difficult for Stu to teach that digital marketing course, uh, the idea of Stu Kent was born, and here we are uh, about five years later. He's also the co-author of Digital Marketing Essentials, the number one selling uh, digital marketing textbook uh, in higher education. And so we're excited to hear from Stu, our founder of Stu Kent. And Stu, time is yours. 
Take it away. Thanks, Trevor. Good to be with you all today. I'm coming to you from Oklahoma State University. Thank you to the Spears School of Business for providing this nice space for me to use while I'm here visiting them. Um, today, I want to share with you guys some ideas for digital marketing education and uh, specific, not, not you, you'll see, just you got you to hear me out, listen to these ideas. Uh, I have a few of them and I'm always open to the possibility that somebody's got a better idea than I have. Uh, it happens on occasion, right? Uh, but in all seriousness, um, you can go to forum.stukent.com. We want you to share your ideas, not just with us, with your, with your colleagues that are there at forum.stukent.com. Professors are asking questions and other professors are giving excellent answers. Um, we, uh, our support team at Stukent also monitors and tries to answer technical questions that come in. Um, I believe in the perfect pedagogy, just like there's a perfect chocolate chip co cookie recipe. That's my wife's recipe. I believe that there are six key ingredients in the perfect pedagogy. One, it must have continuously updated text and content. Two, it's got to have hands-on learning experiences. We do that via simulation. It's got to have real world projects. It needs video content. It needs um, assessments as well. The ability to check learning and comprehension on the fly throughout the semester, not just once at midterm, once at the end. And uh, we believe that a big part of our secret sauce, a, a sixth ingredient is the teaching resources and our customer support. Our, our uh, Not only do our professors know about us as a courseware provider, our students know about us as a courseware provider and they turn to us and uh, we can take a load off of instructors plates in the pro in that process. So um, that's just to give you a little bit of my vision for how a courseware provider should be treating uh, the work that they're doing in the education space. So um, I've said this a million times, everyone in the company knows it by heart and, and if you ask them at any time, they can zip it off to you. The mission at Stukan is to help educators help students help the world. So these ideas that I'm about to share with you, they are they are in, in a part, and this whole conference today, this digital summit we're putting on, is uh, in part to fulfill our mission to help educators help students help the world. So, by the way, if you have other ideas besides the ones I share, don't hesitate. You can go ahead, go right into uh, Twitter, hashtag StuCantDS18, throw it on LinkedIn if you'd like, or Facebook, and share your other ideas that you have uh, as it relates to digital marketing education. So, first, I want to share ideas to market your digital marketing course. A lot of you guys are trying to uh, grow the program. Uh, if you want to grow your marketing program as a whole, the greatest way that I can see you doing that is by getting students attracted to the digital marketing aspect. That will get them excited. Uh, so here are a few ideas. Number one, let the students and potential employers do the work for you. So uh, I'll talk more about some ideas specific for how students can help you spread the word about your digital marketing course. One way that your that potential employers can do it, a lot of them, and you guys are getting emails, I'm guessing, from local business owners saying, hey, do you have students that know digital marketing? Uh, invite those folks to come into class, say, hey, I don't have a full class period, or maybe you do, but if you don't, say, hey, I have five minutes at the beginning of class, I'd like you to come in, uh, tell us a little bit about your business and what you look for in a digital marketing student that you're looking to hire. Um, when students see that job opportunities are going to come from a course, that gets them excited and they start paying a lot more attention in class. Uh, and those potential employers can start getting the word out to other students that this is a course they hope you take. So you can do that um, by having them come into your Marketing 101 class before, they, before your students are ready to sign up for a digital marketing course and do that. Um, Use the Marketing Society. Have the Marketing Society on campus. Um, there's all sorts of different clubs and things like that for this. Have the Marketing Society do a project where they have to create a, an online marketing campaign or both an offline and on, online marketing campaign 
uh, and try to get students to sign up for uh, your class. Make sure uh, most of you probably aren't even struggling to fill your digital marketing course, but I know that there are a lot of new universities adding digital marketing classes, and uh, this is a lot of information and ideas for you. Okay, another one you can do is a class assignment. You basically have the students currently taking your class, and their class assignment is to um, come up with three different ways they can share um, with their friends about the class. So um, that, that can be offline, online methods, and you can have some sort of an extra credit deal or uh, just make it an assignment. They have to create, a let's say, a YouTube video or uh, post something on Facebook as if they were a business, and then they can delete it later if they don't need it. Okay, um, next idea. You can email blast the business school. Obvious one here, right? Just um, don't just do a regular email blast that says, hey, uh, there's still a few spots left for our upcoming digital marketing class, so re be sure to register. These are the times that will be taken. Instead, uh, create a piece of content, like a really good engaging piece of content. Work with your TAs on it and uh, have a video that's embedded within your uh, email blast that you send to the business school. Uh, by the way, a lot of schools have not put prerequisites on their intro to digital marketing course, and they're allowing um, other schools. I, I've had marketing ma uh, music majors taking our business, our digital business class. So um, that's up for consideration as well. You can run a remarketing campaign. Uh, you guys have the ability to target incredibly well. This is just a, a great way to practice. If you, if you as a professor want to practice doing remarketing so you can say you've done it, uh, you can go to Google Ads and set up, put 50 bucks in is all, and run a remarketing campaign where only people that have landed on the business school's webpage see an ad that you've created for, and everywhere else they go online, they start to see that uh, the Spears School of Business has a digital marketing class that you can register for. Um, then only those students that you know are already registered for the school can come in and sign up for the class. Uh, I believe it's incredibly important that on the first day of Marketing 101, your principles of marketing class, you're bringing up the fact that uh, there's different paths you can take within marketing. One of them is digital, and that's a class to, to consider. Um, also, offline methods, uh, it doesn't hurt to, you can, and again, this can be integrated into your class assignment. You have students do an offline, have students figure out the integrated marketing here of offline and online communications uh, and have them make that a part of the assignment, whether that's they put signs up on campus that say, um, that say something that drives people to go online and check something out, right? There, there's just one idea, um, but offline methods and how they integrate with online marketing is important. Uh, you can also ask businesses for a budget. Like if, if you're like, well, I want to do this class assignment. I love the idea of giving students 50 bucks to go create a remarketing campaign or to uh, run a Facebook ad, but I don't have budget for that kind of thing. You can ask businesses and Stukent obviously has a vested interest in you growing your digital marketing course. So um, you can ask us too. We don't have a large budget for this, but we can help schools. So if you are interested in that, Feel free to email support at stukent.com. That was support at stukent.com, and we can um, discuss that idea as well. Okay, uh, you can make a case for more digital marketing courses or a digital marketing major on your campus. I, I've heard this struggle a lot that, yeah, we only have one class in digital marketing, and we really don't have time to cover everything, obviously. So uh, if that's the case, here are some things I recommend for you for making a case to your business school, they need to add more courses. Uh, first, get on LinkedIn as an instructor, connect with your students, and connect with alumni that are on the job, especially those alumni that just recently graduated and had, have taken your digital marketing course. Prove that they're getting jobs in this space and use that, and, and then you can go back to them and do an alumni survey, 
and say, hey, um, tell me, and you can do this just via like a question on a LinkedIn post and the comments that come in, right? And you say, hey, um, tell me what you wish you had been able to learn more of in your digital mark in your marketing major here at our school. And uh, when they comment in, you, I guarantee they will say, I wish I had had more digital marketing education when I was in college. I wish I had learned more about visual media and learned how to create more content when I was in college. I wish I had been, been taught more about not just writing an email, but how to write good content that can perform well and convert people and persuade people. Um, you can use job board data. This is an obvious one. You go to monster.com, type in digital marketing. You can go to LinkedIn jobs and look for uh, jobs in digital marketing and just use that as a case of, hey, look, there's 50,000 jobs right now for entry level social media marketing. We need to have a course dedicated to that subject. Um, also, you can record video testimonials, uh, have your students that are, or have your alumni shoot a short video on their phone and message it over to you so you can show to their class, uh, have the students saying, hey, I'm, uh, pay attention in this class, it's really helped me with my job. So uh, another question I get asked a lot is what courses matter in a digital marketing program? Um, some are starting to build digital marketing majors. Um, We've seen that. We've also seen that at the MBA level. Um, to me, this is the order of importance. You've got to have an overview of digital marketing. Gives them an in, uh, a high level view of all the different disciplines of digital marketing. Then you can dig in a social media marketing course uh, that does a deeper dive than what you'd give, give in a digital marketing course. You've got to cover marketing analytics, business writing. We have a, a, a a, a text uh, called business writing a content marketing approach honestly I feel of all the courses that we've now launched this one has the the greatest impact on a student's ability to perform on day one on the job um, and that's saying a lot right but the reason I believe that is because if you if you can't write how are you going to be a successful marketer it, you need to be able to write and you need to be able to think about writing in a 2018 approach, not uh, old school, write a five, pa a five paragraph essay style. Um, visual media and giving students the ability to know basic Photoshop, basic Adobe Illustrator is a very powerful thing. Uh, mobile marketing and media planning also definitely make my list. Okay, there's great places to learn more and stay sharp. So as instructors, um, you've got to be looking for ways to, to stay current. It's hard. So I suggest subscribing to a few of the, high, the, the best in the industry and then catch up when you can. Um, SearchEngineLand.com, best for online marketing in the search engine world. SocialMediaExaminer.com, number one for social media, plat for, for social media marketing. Um, you can also follow influencers on social media. So if you look up a conference, you're like, man, I wish I had budget. I would go to that conference to learn more like search marketing expo. I want to go to that one. Well, if you can't attend, you can go find all the speakers that are going to be there and you go find them on social media and you start following them and they're sharing all the same content they're sharing at a conference online for free via Twitter. Check it out. Uh, Google.com webmasters is a great one. Blog.google is a great one as well. Uh, that doesn't even look like a, a, a true URL, but it really is. Blog.google slash product slash ads is where the Google AdWords blog has moved to. Thinkwithgoogle.com is excellent. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, they all have their own blogs where they make uh, announcements and break news about what's changing with their platforms. So uh, Search Engine Land is usually following those blogs and they are a little bit harder to find. They don't make them super readily available, mostly because they want people to go into their platform, not into their blogs, but uh, they're worth following. You guys should go dig them up. And then uh, last and probably least, we have the Stu Kent blog, but the, the great thing about our, our blog is we have a newsletter we send out, the news you can use, uh, and, and we also do a news you can use blog post that covers the top 10 things happening in the industry. Uh, for that month. 
All right. And then you can also use, of course, all of our products for free. As an instructor, you can sign up as a student, use any of those products for free. Um, so we have a poll here. Um, and in, the polls now open. Can Stu can't help you more? Tell us. Um, can we help by sponsoring some research, sponsoring continuing education? Could we help sponsor a conference? Is there uh, data maybe that you think we might have that we could provide for you? Uh, if we can provide more training, we definitely want to help there too. So please tell us in this poll. Um, also, if you're super serious, like you might be checking that, yeah, we, I could get help by you sponsoring my research. Great. Uh, if you're really serious about it, go ahead and just shoot us an email today. Take a second, go open another browser tab and go to uh, your email, message us and say support at stukent.com is, uh, and, and just email support at stukent.com, sorry, and say, hey, I'm, I'm interested in you guys sponsoring my research and I'd love to learn more. Uh, and then our support team can funnel those requests that come in. Okay, is that poll about ready to close? Let's go ahead and close that. Okay. We have a special invitation for you guys. This is the part I'm most excited about in my whole presentation. Please watch this short video. Ian, go ahead and cue that when you're ready. Speaking of providing more training, that's what this special invitation is about. putting on its first conference. I wanted to invite you in June of 2019 to what we're calling ProfCon. It's going to be in Yellowstone National Park. It's going to be everything you ever needed in a professor conference for marketing professors. The theme is learn, prepare, share. We want you to learn digital marketing, prepare yourself to be a better digital marketing instructor, and share your research and insights on digital marketing. Come to ProfCon 2019, put on by Stu Kent. Okay, so we have some early bird pricing. It's good through this Sunday at midnight, so act fast, get out your calendars. Yellowstone's a bucket list item. Everyone has it on their list, but it's often no man's land in the corner of Eastern Idaho. Uh, it's right next to our, it's our stomping grounds. And so we wanna invite you guys, uh, come in if for being here today with us. We have a special early bird price. It's just $297 until Sunday. Full price will be $697. You go to profcon19.com to register. Uh, so get on your calendars, talk with the family, and uh, make it a family trip. Come out and see us. We're going to play too. It'll, have, uh, it'll be a rich um, experience of not just learning, but also making memories in Yellowstone. And we have exclusive VIP tickets. So it's available to the first 25 registrants at no additional cost. You'll, so all, all you have to do is register right now. If you register before Sunday, you're definitely going to be, I would guess that, it, that you'll be included. You're going to get VIP exclusive club shirt. Everyone else is going to get a white one. That's what it looks like. Um, you also will have front rows revert, reserved for you at the event. We're going to have excursions and private tours lined up with limited space at discounted prices. You guys are going to get first dibs on those. And there's a special dinner with the speakers that we're going to put on. So you can go register at profcon19.com for that.
But wait, there's one more thing I got to tell you about it. Today, during Stu Kent's Digital Summit, we're going to do a win one, give one. So we're giving away two free tickets to hashtag ProfCon19 today during hashtag StuKentDS18. There will be three links in the chat box on the right hand side with our ProfCon announcement posts to LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. So they're in the chat. You can share and comment on the posts. If you tag a per the person, friend, or colleague, you would want to come with you. Um, if you win, you're going to be qualified and entered. You have now from now until 12.30 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, the end of the conference, to do this because we will select the winners live today at the end of the Stukent Digital Summit. So uh, be sure to go and check into those three links on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Share and comment. Uh, that gives you the entries and you'll be able to qualify. Trevor and team will be telling you more and reminding you about this, I imagine, later on in the event. Yeah. And the, you the link, sorry, Stu. Uh, the links have already been posted. They're in the chat box. Um, they're a little long, but they're blue. So that means you can click them and they should take you to those posts on those three platforms. So go ahead and start doing that. Um, we're excited about this cool win one, give one um, opportunity. So sorry, Stu, keep going. All right. Thank you guys for being with me today. I hope some of those ideas helped. If you have more questions about them, you can even reach out to me personally. Stu at StuKent.com is my email. And uh, I give that away because I'm, I'm always blown away by how few people actually take me up on emailing me personally. But Stu at StuKent.com, uh, go to ProfCon. 19.com uh, to get more information hope to see you in yellowstone and i'm here for any help you have you need also don't forget about forum.stukit.com and uh i'm gonna sign off thanks guys for being with me today heavy i'm open to answering doing some q a if we need to wait a little bit for scott to join us Okay, we did have a couple questions come in. So, are you still there, Stu? Yep. Cool. Um, here's a question for uh, for you: How do you engage early start students that are still choosing between um, nursing, or I guess any any subject, or uh, and digital marketing? So the question is, how to engage, how to engage students who are choosing between um, multiple subjects and convert them to the good side of digital marketing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to say, n nursing may be considered a more noble career path than digital marketing. I don't know. I, I think it's a good question. Um, Frankly, I don't think that we should try to persuade people rather than make them aware of what's available to them. So uh, there's a lot of different paths a student can take. And if you make it available and, and help people understand the path, then um, you've done your part. I, I think the right way to get in front of them is to invite students to consider business early to take a business 101 a marketing 101 early before they even declare a major so they can decide for themselves if it's the right path for them i don't i don't know that you persuade them to leave nursing and come over to digital marketing or that that's the right case as far as keeping them engaged in the class say they are a nursing major and they signed up without any prerequisites to take a, a, a digital marketing course the way you keep them engaged is by showing them all of the different applications of digital marketing that uh, okay, so you're a nurse. Maybe you're going to have uh, work for a midwifery someday, and um, they need to get the word out about their midwifery because the her the the local hospital uh, owns the market of baby delivery, and um, so they as nurses need to figure that out. And at least being aware of it is powerful. Also, a nurse might be a blogger and nurse about their experience and blog about their nursing experience. So there's there's ways to keep them engaged in the class if their major isn't business or digital marketing. But like I said, I don't recommend persuading students to leave a, an, another path their own. 
Okay, uh, last question, Steve, before we jump over to Scott. I believe Scott is on. We're going to be ready to rock and roll with him. But, uh, Stu, do you have any uh, accommodation information for attendees slash families for ProfCon? Uh, very interested, but to register uh, by Sunday to get that early bird uh, digital summit discount, um, we'd need uh, some more details. Want to talk yeah. about the, the hotel and, and that type of stuff? Yeah, so there will be information on profcon19.com about the hotel and, and that stuff coming soon. Um, you can also, and if it's, I, I imagine there's already some information there on the page. If it's not there yet, we'll get it up today. Um, we have a block of rooms that are going to be available for ProfCon at the hotel that is uh, our sponsor, our, our hotel. It's in... Uh, it's the Holiday Inn in West Yellowstone, Montana. So, um, and for those who are Idaho Falls Airport, and then you, you head up north at an hour and a half to West Yellowstone, Montana, and that's where the the hotel and conference is. Yeah, and West Yellowstone is the west entrance to Yellowstone National Park. In my opinion, it's the best entrance. But um, we're literally you could walk to the park from from where the hotel is. So we're, we're proximity wise right next to all that goodness. So anyways, Stu, um, we're going to, we're going to uh, switch over to Scott. We're a little bit behind here. So we're going to give Scott his time. 